Hey everybody, Maria Pope with Jamberry Nails and I wanted to talk to you today about fundraising. I love fundraising because I love the fact that I get to be a blessing to other people. In fact, I'm always looking for my next fundraiser. I am always searching Facebook, looking for people who have GoFundMe accounts set up. I am looking to hear about people who are raising money by having garage sales and car washes. I'm looking to hear that teams have just made it to nationals because you know they're gonna need money to help get there. I'm looking for that person who is having a rough day and I can just kind of bless them. When I see somebody in need, what I do is I send them a quick message and just let them know that because of Jamberry Nails, I get the opportunity to be a blessing to others and I would love to bless them if they would be interested. Sometimes people respond no, but a lot of times people respond yes. And when they do, there are two ways that I set up my parties. Either one, I'll go online and do an online Facebook party. Typically, I'll run these to be five days to 10 days long with one or two live nights where I can come online, show how to do application, show how to do removal, talk about the product, and then also talk about the cause. Um, or I will do a catalog party, which I'll talk about that in a minute. Let's start with Facebook parties. When I do an online Facebook fundraiser, I think it's really important not just to showcase our amazing product, but also to showcase and to educate about the cause. So if somebody is doing a fundraiser for Relay for Life, you wanna make sure that you are spending a day talking about different kinds of cancers. Maybe on day one, you're talking about brain cancer. On day two, you're talking about breast cancer. On day three, you're talking about esophageal cancer, things like that. I really like to get my hostesses involved. and. I asked them how they would like this to go. So for instance, I did a fundraiser for Relay for Life. It raised over $1,000 and, well, it did $1,000 in sales, so raised over $300 for Relay for Life. But I really got my hostess involved. I asked her, I said, okay, I know this cause is really near and dear to your heart. I wanna make sure that I showcase and educate people about cancer. What are your four most prevalent types of cancers that you think will affect you and your friends in the future. And she gave me four and I did a little bit of research and I made sure that on each day I covered one of those. It was awesome because not only was I raising money for Relay for Life, I was educating other people. I might have made a difference to somebody who would be diagnosed with cancer who might not otherwise have even known about that kind of cancer. So that's really something that I Love. I think it's so important to use our product as a segue to So let's eat. talk about catalog parties next. When you're doing a catalog party, there are certain types of fundraisers that will benefit more from doing a catalog party than it would from doing an online Facebook party. Online Facebook parties are great if you have one hostess, one cause, and you're trying to just hit all their friends. Catalog parties are better if you have teams or large groups of people who are all coming together trying to raise money for the same reason. For instance, I just did a fundraiser for the local high school cheerleading team. When I did that, um, I found out from my babysitter they had made it to nationals. They were trying to raise some money to get some new uniforms. Uniforms were $100 a piece and they had 31 girls. They needed to raise $3,100. So I knew that by going out there and getting each girl a catalog that she could take out and collect orders, we would have a much more successful fundraiser instead of all of them trying to get together, add people on Facebook, things like that. In fact, let me tell you something, the younger generations, they don't even use Facebook. Doesn't that make you feel old? Like the younger generations? I'm only 35, I feel like I'm like 18. Um, but they don't even use Facebook. So Facebook is kind of null and void with them. You have to be a little more creative and I haven't figured out Instagram yet, so catalog parties is where it's at. When I did my catalog party, here's how I did it. I made each girl a folder. I went to Walmart in their clearance rack. They had purple folders for 10 cents a piece. Keep your receipts, it's all a tax write off. Um, in each folder, I put a brochure, a catalog, and everything you know about Jamberry Flyer that I created. Um, some bundles, because people love bundles. Bundles make it really easy for people to shop. They can look at a picture and say, I want this and this. Um, and then I also put information about the cheerleaders. I put an order form that I had created, and I put um, a basic tax guide so that they knew exactly if someone ordered a buy three, get one free, the tax would be this to make it really, really easy. And I also put just a welcome letter and cover page giving them some specifics about the, about the fundraiser. Then what I did was I went over and I met with those cheerleaders face to face. That's right, I kind of set it up like a party. It was one hour total. I got there, I kind of got them hyped up. We talked about um, why they were raising money, 
what their goal was for money, and then I talked about how Jamboree could help them rate, meet their goal. It was really important that I got them interested and got them to kind of buy in because by doing that, they were like, ooh, this is easy. We could go out and I could sell to 10 people. And if I sell to 10 people, then I'll probably make $45 towards my pro $45. If everyone bought one sheet, I would make $45 towards my uniform. But if I could get everybody, out of all those 10 people to buy, I don't know, let's say I could get all 10 of those people to buy a buy one, get one free, Oh my gosh, I can make my whole uniform back. So I got them thinking. Then what I did is we set some goals. We decided how many people they wanted to sell to, how much money they wanted each girl to make, and then I made an incentive for them. People like incentives, you know that. Think about your basic elementary school fundraiser, cookie dough sales. They come in and they rah rah, get everyone so excited, and then they say, and look, you can get this little wacky hand, which costs them five cents from Oriental Trading Company. And the kids go crazy and they're all gonna get it. And if you sell a thousand dollars, you can get this big ball. It costs them three dollars. They don't care if the kids get it, but the kids want it. So I did the same thing. I incentivized. I said, okay, here's the deal. If every single one of you gets 10 customers, I will give each of you a $10 gift certificate to the mall. And they were like, whew, I got this, I got this. They didn't do it but it got them excited and it got a bunch of them selling. And I also told them, and whoever out of all of you sells the most, I have a $50 Visa gift card right here. And they went crazy. High school girls, guys, that's what we're talking about. Anyways, the girl who won that, she did over $600 in sales. How easy was that? I did nothing, she did $600 in sales. Now, you say, okay, so what's in it for me from fundraiser, fundraising? Well, a couple things in it for you. One, you get to be a blessing, which is most important. Two, you get a whole slew of new customers. I make sure that I have every single person in my party when they're collecting orders, that they collect emails, phone numbers, home addresses, and customer names. This is really important because then I can add all those people to my database. I can reach out to every single one of them. I send each and every one of them a thank you note. I send each and every one of them a little sheet of accent nails. And you know what? And I told them that if they booked a party with me, that I would give 10% of their party sales back to the cheerleading fundraiser. I booked five parties off of it. It was awesome, it took nothing. And you know what? I am now making my money back. Yes, I give 30% of my total sales to my fundraisers. That's my baseline commission. Um, you can give whatever you want. I don't recommend giving anything less than 25% because otherwise it's just not really worth it for the fundraising group. And you really wanna be able to bless them, so you wanna be able to give them enough. Um, but I give 30% of my commission in my dashboard. Let's talk about how we set it up. In your dashboard, you are not gonna to wanna to set it up as a fundraiser, okay? If you set up a fundraiser as a fundraiser instead of as a party on your dashboard, they, Jamboree is gonna donate 10% of your total sales to the organization and nobody gets any hostess rewards. But if you set it up as a party and you decide how much of your commission you wanna give, you will donate that portion to your organization and then you get to keep the hostess rewards. So my cheerleading fundraiser, which did over $2,100 in sales, I got over $600 in free and um, discounted product. I can turn around and sell that. I can turn around and gift that. I can do whatever I want with it, but it's mine. So see, I win there too. Anyway, so make sure you set it up as a party and not as a fundraiser. Make sure you decide what commission or what percentage you wanna to donate to the cause. Um, and then go ahead and get out there and start talking to people. Um, the more people you talk to, the more people you're gonna find. Everybody can use a little extra money for something. My challenge for you would be to go ahead on your Facebook page, make a post, ask, does anybody have a favorite organization that they would like to donate money to? Or make a post, if you could donate money to any organization, which organization would it be? People are gonna start interacting with that. And when they do, you can message them privately and say, hey Susie, I heard that you are, um, I saw that you're really passionate about the World Wildlife Organization or something like that. You know, I work for Jamberry Nails and I'm willing to donate my entire commission to that cause if you'd like to host a party fundraiser for me. What do you say? It'd be really simple and easy and then we can make a donation in your name. It's as easy as that. 
Um, so my challenge for you today is to go out onto Facebook, go out onto Instagram, do um, an engagement post. Ask people if there's an organization that you're passionate about. Ask if there's an organization they'd like to donate money to. Start looking, see if there's people posting on your Facebook about GoFundMe accounts or issues and reach out to them. Be a blessing to others and grow your business at the same time. Fundraisers are truly a win-win.